Hi, it's Angela Critters. I grew up in Charlotte, North Carolina, moved here when I was three. It didn't take my mother long to find out about Miss Presley's vegetable sandwiches. And I know you all think, oh gosh, everybody's had a vegetable sandwich. Well, these are specific to Charlotte, North Carolina. About 20 years ago, our food editor of our newspaper even reached out across the country to every food editor, and no one, no one anywhere had ever heard of our vegetable sandwich spread, and some of them even put questions out to their readers. So the reason it's so wonderful, they're these awesome tea sandwiches full of little tiny chopped vegetables, and all my vegetables have been chopped up for hours, and they sat, and all the juices have drained and I'm using the juices as part of my spread. So years ago when Miss Presley made them, she cut everything up by hand. And my mother always picked them up for birth birthdays for adults, parties for Christmas. She had to give a baby shower, and every time it was her bi-monthly time to have all the fancy bridge club at night, we always picked these up. And it was so much fun as a kid to go. She would go into Miss Presley's house on Crescent Avenue. It was a little cottage, and... Um, my mama would come back out with a white shirt box like you would buy shirts in and it would be completely filled with the vegetable sandwiches and the crusts were cut off and I would be so excited because I would always hope that after the party there'd be one left over for me because <laughs> I love them so much. So, they're so easy to make now because the only thing I had to chop by hand was the first thing which was the cucumber and I... I got all my peeling off, chopped it by hand. Then everything else, I just kind of minced up in my little chopper. So I used to spend like two hours getting this chopped up. Now it doesn't take me any time at all. And um, I've got one carrot, one bell pepper, one big stalk of celery, a small onion. And later, after the first years, they added a small tomato and I do have one small tomato and that's ground up as well in my food processor so all of the description and what you know would be in my the ingredients would be in my description so as always you know I'm going to use my Duke's co-host but I've reserved three tablespoons of my juice my vegetable juice that was in the bottom here and I'm going to gently start to thicken this up with one packet of gelatin now Miss Presley's original recipe did not use gelatin but I think over the years they started adding gelatin I don't know if people complained that if they didn't eat the vegetable the salads you know the vegetable tea sandwiches that first day if they were too wet the next day but I do know that along the way that gelatin was added and it's kind of a funny story so my mother was a really good um, customer and had been from the time we moved here and so we were moving to New Jersey and this was a well-kept secret uh, Miss Presley's sister Dot had invented this recipe and she never told anybody so when we left town Miss Presley gave my mother the recipe on the promise that she would never share it and so um, when we moved away my mother would make it when we moved to New Jersey and she went to parties and stuff and so I always had the recipe and in the 80s I would make it so much that my friends would ask me to make it for them. And I even had one friend that took some to Tennessee for her parents' wedding anniversary. But I would never, ever, ever, ever give anybody the recipe because I promised my mother. Well, in 1999, the Charlotte Junior League put out a cookbook. And in the cookbook, they finally gave Miss Presley's recipe. <laughs> and so I can share it with y'all now because it's been in a cookbook. So, it's a little bit of trouble, like I said, but when my husband hears that I'm making this, he just gets so excited. He thinks there's nothing better than to just eat this as a sandwich, not like on regular bread. And it's real good on crackers. I've even thought about rolling it in a tortilla, but I'm not sure. It might be too thick to, um, you know, wrap. I don't know. So, I'm going to let this... Uh, it's just oh, okay it's good it's come together now my gelatin so my gelatin's not really um, thick it's going to thicken later but it is uh, completely stirred together so my mayonnaise will be added 
as soon as it's cool enough. And my mayonnaise is right at about three quarters of a cup. It's cool enough now. I'm going to go ahead and put my mayonnaise in real quick. And then all I do is just add my mayonnaise to my chopped up vegetables and this is ready. It seems like, what is the big deal? Why is this such a special recipe? You have to taste it to get how good it is. It doesn't have garlic in it. I've heard down the road that some people have added garlic. I love garlic, but my husband doesn't. But I've never added garlic. And then somebody told me that in recent years they started ha um, adding jalapenos. But so many people nowadays have such a palate that's spicier. Back in the, well, 1941 when she developed the sandwiches, people didn't eat the spicy foods like we eat today. It just wasn't a thing. And so this reigned supreme for over 50 years in Charlotte. I mean, it was, you did not go to a fancy reception in town or a wedding without seeing just platters of her sandwiches. They're just so good. All right. So I'm going to dump them in. And I've just learned from experience. I do half my vegetables. Go ahead and mix up half of my mayonnaise. So when they were reaching across the country and asking people about if they'd ever heard of this, people have vegetable spreads, you know, a sandwich where they put a tomato on it and call it a vegetable sandwich. So editors reached out to a lot of their readers, and some of the readers uh, asked for the recipe down the road, and they all just loved it too. And since... We've got bridal shower season coming up and baby showers possibly and weddings and just different things. I thought this might be a good time to show y'all my city's world famous dish. The other thing Charlotte's food is famous for is liver mush. Do you love it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I was trying to stop it. You probably don't want to watch me mix this up. But anyway, you don't have to actually see it put together because I can't spread it out and put it on like a cracker or a sandwich till it has sat for quite a few hours. And I fill up jars with it. And it will sit in jars for days and days. And like I said, it originally did not have the gelatin. But see how wet it is now? It will not be wet once this gelatin comes together. And um, another reason that you have it sitting on something like this all day is because you really do not want your vegetables wet. They can be kind of wet because, of course, that adds flavor. Welcome to the world of Charlotte, North Carolina's world-famous culinary treat vegetable sandwich spread. Isn't that pretty? So as usual, what I'll do is I will make a picture of these after they have gelled together and I've made a sandwich and I'll make that for my thumbnail. Aren't they pretty? Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye. packed. I've got my leftover juices. I'm going to put this in the freezer because there's no reason to waste all this good vegetable broth. But I thought you might want to look at the finished product, how pretty it looks in the jar. It stays in the jar about a week. Good.